All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, video using Premiere Pro CS6. Um, so first, you're welcome to the screen. Um, we're just going to go to New Project, but it does have recent projects in there as well. And the things I ask here, we don't really need to worry about um, if you're a beginner, so don't worry about this. So just leave it all the same. Just know that your location is where it's going to be saving, so you probably want to put it in my doc somewhere. I'm going to be calling this example. And over here on scratch disks, um, you don't need to worry about this, but this is basically where it holds temporary files um, or a few capture files from a camera. I'm going to hit OK, and then it's going to bring up this next one. Uh, for what I'm using, I'm going to be using a digital DLSLR at 1080p and at 24 frames per second. So that's the one I would choose. Um, if you have something else, um, you know, it's pretty common for people to have DV or like DV1024 or NTSC or whatever else. If you don't really know for sure, it's fine. Um, I'm going to say for a lot of other cameras that are out there now, the AVC HD is pretty popular. And then just pick the right resolution, 1080i, um, at 30 frames per second is a lot of times the default. So anyways, I'm going to use this because this is what I'm working with. And they also have settings and all this other stuff. We're not going to worry about that either. But if you do worry about settings, then look here for them. But for most of you, if this is your first video, then you don't need to know that. I'm going to hit OK. And let's just talk about the interface really quick. Um, down here is our timeline. It's our sequence, all right? And it works. Uh, nah, I won't get into that yet. Um, <laughs> this is the preview up here to show the, the sequence preview. And then up here is your source clips that could come in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is bring in some media so I can show you what I'm talking about. So just right click in this area and do import. Um, and I already have some a folder that I'm going to be using. And here's examples. And I'm going to bring in a, a picture and some music and videos as well. Okay, I'm going to open. And they're going to plop down here. I believe you can also just drag them in as well. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to bring in uh, one video quick or if I, if I click on this video, double click on it, it goes up here to the source monitor, okay? And there's only one part of this video that I actually want to use. So if I just go to that spot, so let's say I'm, I want it to go from right here, okay? I can press I for in, and, and then I'm going to keep going, and I want it to stop right there, okay? And then I would push O for out, okay? And now if I just drag this in, it drags it down into my timeline here. And by the way, you can zoom in and out by holding, by grabbing this tab on the left or right side, and that zooms in and out. Okay? The movie's not getting any longer, you're just looking closer in. So right here's three seconds. If I zoom in, I'm still at three seconds. It doesn't really matter, okay? Okay, so let's say that's the way I want it. I can, like I said, I just drag it in. And now this is the sequence. This is where it's, we're actually going to put all the files together. Um, and that works pretty good. And now let's say I only wanted the video only. Okay, so like let's say I didn't want this, and I do want only the video. I can drag only the video in right here, and you can see right here I have audio. I can only drag the audio in. Uh, that's really useful if you want to like overlay music and you're you know you're not going to use the audio. Okay, um, so that's how that works. And let's say, for example, though I'm I'm in this and I realize oh you know really I want to cut it here. Uh, there's two ways I can cut it like that. I can do Control K, and that will split it. And let's say I want this piece. Oops. Ah. If I zoom in, see it wants to automatically uh, switch to a different tool. I can drag this and and move this somewhere else. Okay. Um, or I can instead of doing Control K to split it, which is very useful. I can also just grab this edge here until you see that uh, red arrow and I can just drag it into my marker here. Okay. Uh, one thing I didn't explain, I guess, is you know this is your little marker, so when you're watching it, you can kind of just drag it back and forth to, to see the spot. Or if, let's say, I just want to watch it from here, I can just hit the space bar. That starts and stops it as well. Okay. If I hit Enter, that always goes to the beginning. So starting and stopping, space bar, okay. and then beginning is Enter. So give that, give that a try if you'd like. Um, a few things I should probably go back to is, you know, like I said, right down here is your is all your media under project. But they also have media browser if you're looking for things. I don't use that often, so I'm going to close that. And then they have the info. Um, again, you're probably not going to use that, so close it out. But then they do have effects in here as well. Um, 
let's not get into that yet. I will in a little bit. But uh, I'm going to throw in another video now. And so again, I'm just going to double click on this one. And I'm, I know kind of where I want it to start. It's right around here. So I'm going to just watch it for a little bit. And I want it to start right there. So I press it. I pressed I and I hit space to stop. And I want it to stop right there. So I hit O. Okay. And again, I can just grab this and drag it down in. Um, let's say I wanted to put another video in there. Let's say it's uh, this video right here. I'm going to double click on that. And I want to start right here and end right there. Um, let's say I want to put this in between these two. So if I drag and just put it in between these two, see it actually would cover up. It would just copy it right over. If I go up here, um, this works like layers in Photoshop or anything else. You'll see this video ends here and this one begins here. So whatever's on top shows through. So this video ends, but then it goes right to this one. Right? Or if I put so if I drag this and put it on top of it, then that video shows. See? So just so you know that. So if I do want to put it in here, I can just drag this drag this video out and I can drag this one down and bring this one back in. Okay. Or if let's say I have a gap here, let's say I have a lot of videos over here. I can also right click and ripple delete and it moves everything over to the left. Alright. Alright, cool. Um, so let's look at adding like an effect. So if I go to effects over here, they have different types. They have audio effects and video effects. Let's say, um, let's do video effects. And in here they have a lot of different stuff. Okay. They have stylized and transform and whatever else. Um, if I click here at the top, here's the effects controls. Okay, so let's say I put in there um, transform. Let's just see what's inside there. I could crop a video. Um, let's just, I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So if I double click on that, or if I drag it onto the clip like that, now this is applied only to this one or here. So let's say for some reason I wanted this area blank. Maybe I want to put some text in here. I can just drag this and it'll basically crop that. You can also just type it in like 50%. Okay. So now if I watch this, see, it looks like that instead. Um, you probably won't use it very often for something like this, but maybe if you're using like a green screen, you would. Okay. Um, let's say I don't like this effect. I can just click on the crop right here and hit delete and it's gone. All these other effects are actually already there. All right. Um, and now let me show you a better example price. So I'm going to go back to my project here and I also have um, this picture. Let's say I bring this picture in and now you'll notice um, not all of the pictures showing. Maybe I should have resized it before bringing it in here, but I can do it another way. So here it is, and it automatically defaults to being five seconds. But if I just click on it, I can make this whatever length I want. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep it around four or five seconds. And right now, a lot of the picture isn't showing. So if I just click on this and I'm on my effects controls, I can go to motion. And really, I want this smaller. Okay, so um, let's say I go... I'll have it start right here. I don't want to. I don't want the black to show. Okay, so I'm going to show you what's called the Ken Burns effect here. So I'm going to start in the beginning here, and what I want to do is for the motion and scale. So I'm going to press the little scale button right there, and also the position button. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the end of it. Okay, and you'll actually see that this timeline is moving as well. This little this little line here. And I'm going to go to the very end and I'm going to press these buttons again. Okay. And I'm not really seeing all of it here, but that's okay. And uh, what this does is it's a keyframe. So in this one, I am going to make the, I'm going to change the position. I'm actually, actually going to go to the right some. And then I'm also going to have it scale in. So now if you watch this, this is what it does. It also it moves and scales at the same time. See, it's just kind of zooming in on that woman there. Okay. Um, or for example, let's say I want it to 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 move, you know, somewhere else. So if I put these little keyframes in, and I can actually just grab it up here too. Maybe I want it to. Oh, this version doesn't do it. Never mind. <laughs> let's say I actually have it go up as well or down. 
Now you see if I if I watch it this time, it's kind of going to kind of go up, and then it hits that point there, and then starts going down. That's probably not something I want. I can just highlight these keyframes, then and hit delete, and it just gets rid of it, and it'll go back to the way it was. All right, so just keep it's just Ken Burns in on that person right there. Okay, and now uh, one other thing I want to show you is, um, you know, they have different options in here in these layers. I just want to keep it really brief right now. I can get into other details later. But if you hit this little arrow right here, it shows you little thumbnails. If you hit this, it shows you what the audio looks like. Really, this there's pretty much no audio in this layer. Um, so, and there's a little bit of audio in that one that you can see. But, and, and just also know you can move the audio around. Um, and let's say I want to separate it. Like, let's say I could also do unlink and then click off it. And I could click just on the audio and delete it. Or I could just mute. I could just toggle off that sound right there. Okay. Another thing I could do is let's say it's not loud enough. I could go to audio gain and I could turn it up or down from there. So maybe I want to go up so I could go 10 decibels or maybe I want it to be down so I could go negative 10 decibels. All right. And then that would just change the audio of that clip alone. Um, and then the last thing is titles. So let's go to file, new, title, or control T. And this is saying, do you want the size? And just say, sure. And there's a lot of stuff in here now. So if you ever used Illustrator or Photoshop, some of, this, some of these tools will look familiar. They actually have a lot of presets already in here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and title this, like, uh, run. OK. <laughs> and uh, I don't really like the text of this, to be honest. But you, know, you can go through here, and you can click different ones and see what works for you. Um, you know, I guess if it's running, maybe I'd wanted it slanted forward or something. I'm not really liking many of these at all, but that's okay. Um, so font style, I could change this. Um, oh, they don't have, they don't really have it there. I don't want to get into actually how you would change that right now. But let's just say this is my title and I like it the way it is. You can choose different colors and all your options are over here. Okay, uh, I'm going to close this now, and automatically it's down here. And let's say uh, if I put that on top. See, it actually, it'll stay right on top of it. Or, um, if that title is wider than the picture or video, it'll stay there, see? And that's kind of cool, too. So, just, you know, I would typically leave it on its own at the end, all right? But you can put it on top of video as well. Um, and last thing, transitions. So if I go to effects here, they also have video transitions. So. You know, if you look at this, it's really large. You can kind of crop it down just so it's a couple. But audio transition, video transition, sorry, and dissolve. I like this one the best. It's just simple and easy. Um, I do dip to black for videos, and see, I can. So what it looks like is this: it just dips to black, and then dips back into whatever video is next. So that's a simple transition. You actually see it right here. I have a gap. I need to move this over. And move this one over too. Okay, and if I did like cross dissolve, that's got to be touching, but that can it can kind of straddle the two right there. So that's what this looks like here. Kind of just transitions into the next thing. Okay, and there you go. So that's some simple transitions. Um, they have a lot of other ones that are kind of cheesy, but if you want to look through them, go for it. Some are some are all right though. Um, now one other thing I should do is put in some audio. I do have this sound clip down here. And the same thing, you know, if, if I press in, it'll start there. I know I want mine to go for about 16 seconds or so, and then I can press out where I want it to finish. And then I can just grab my drag audio only and drag that down. And it looks like it's about the right. I can also, if, if it's a little farther, you can go farther, that's fine. Or I can just kind of line it up with the edge, and that works too. Uh, the other thing I'd do is go to effects and go to audio effects. Uh, not audio effects, I'm sorry, audio transitions crossfades, and then constant power, and I can drop that in the beginning and drop that at the end. And what that is, it's just a, it's a fade out. So if I listen to it, you can you'll be able to hear it as well. And there it just fades out. And if I wanted to make that effect longer, I can click the effect and just drag it for as long as I want. So now it's going to fade out for two and a half seconds instead of just one. Um, so that's an option too. Um, which looks kind of funny. The music fades out, but my my uh, screen doesn't hear it, so I'd want to do dip to black probably at the end of that as well. Um, so that's how you do that.
and that's about it. So hopefully that gives you enough to be dangerous and get your feet wet. I guess the last thing would be if you want to export this, you go to File. Um, if you're just going to post this to the web, then I'd go to Export Media. And then uh, they have a lot of presets in there. Most of them are pretty good. You could look through those. Um, typically, if it's going to go online, you're going to do H.264. <laughs> All right. And then uh, they have presets in there as well. I don't know why it's taking so long to load. And if, let's say it's going to go on Android and Apple. You know, you could go through there and find it. Um, they do actually have a YouTube um, version right on there, I believe. Well, they have Vimeo even on there too. That's cool. So let's say you know yours is 24 frames per second, um, and you want HD 720 on YouTube, or they even have 1080 now on there as well. So I'm going to choose that. I think that's what's going to look the best. And I would just then hit export. Okay. All right. Hope you enjoy the video, and uh, good luck.